It is for this we labor and strive, because we have fixed our hope on the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of believers. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you in the presence of God, who gives life to all things, and of Christ Jesus, who testified the good confession before Pontius Pilate, that you keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this lesson we will learn some things about Timothy, Paul's companion during his Roman imprisonment. As always, we always need to approach the study of the Word of God under the ministry of God the Holy Spirit. We all need to be filled with God the Holy Spirit that he may teach us the truths of the Word of God. We've discussed the mechanic before. Simply name your sins to God the Father. Let's take just a few seconds of silence. Then I'll open with a word. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to worship you through the teaching of your word. We pray that God the Holy Spirit will challenge us with Timothy's life. That we may learn what it means to be a faithful believer and one who is enthusiastic about your word. In Christ's name we pray this. Amen. Let's begin our study with an outline. This is a fairly short study. Three simple points. First is some biographical information on Timothy. Then his relationship with Paul. Then we'll look at Timothy's resume. In our first point, we'll discuss some biographical information about Timothy. The name Timothy means honored of God, worshiping God, or valued of God. By his name it's obvious that at least one of his parents were devout believers in Jesus. Timothy was the son of an unbelieving Greek man and a devout Jewish Christian uh, whose name was Eunice. This is documented in Acts 16 verse 1. Paul came also to Derbe and to Lystra, and a disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who Timothy was raised by his mother Eunice and his grandmother Lois. His father had evidently passed away before Paul arrived on the scene. Timothy was greatly blessed by both his mother and grandmother. Now there was no synagogue in Lystra where he was raised which means that all of his instruction came from these two and not from the community. What a credit to his mother and grandmother. They instilled in him a great love for the Lord and for the Word. They were obviously both mature believers. If you have children, you need to follow their example. Raise your children so that they are exposed to the gospel constantly exposed to the fact that you love the Lord and love the Word. The fact that Timothy was raised in the Word is documented in 2 Timothy 3.15. And that from childhood you have known the sacred writings which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation. This fact is also documented in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. For I am mindful of the sincere faith within you, which first dwelt in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And I am sure... Now, let's talk... Paul called Timothy his child in the faith, which refers to the fact that Paul brought him to spiritual maturity. In both letters to Timothy, chapters 1, verse 2, Paul refers to him as his child in the faith. To Timothy, my beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father in Christ our Lord. Paul both ordained and circumcised Timothy. This is documented in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. Do not neglect the spiritual gift within you, which was bestowed on you through prophetic utterance with the laying on of hands by the presbytery. 
and also 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. For this reason I remind you to kindle afresh the gift of God which is in you, through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power. Now, Paul did not circumcise Timothy to appease the Judaizers, as some people have alleged, but he did so as a sign of Timothy's maturity. Because Timothy ministered to Jews, Paul circumcised him as a Jew, following Jewish traditions. Circumcision Paul recognized Timothy as being a great man in the next generation of pastors, recognizing his spiritual gift of pastor-teacher. Timothy served Paul faithfully as a son with his father. Paul, when writing to the Philippian believers, probably letting them know of his approval of Timothy, wrote this to them. This is Philippians 2.22. But you know of his proven worth, that he served with me in the furtherance of the gospel like a child serving his father. Timothy became indispensable to Paul. This is documented in Acts 17, verses 14 and 15. Then immediately the brethren sent Paul out to go as far as the sea, and Silas and Timothy remained there. Now those who escorted Paul brought him as far as Athens, and receiving a command for Silas and Timothy to come to him as soon as possible, they left. In other words, when Paul was moved out to another location, he immediately sent for both Silas and Timothy. This next passage, Acts 18.5, also documents this. It reads, But when Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began devoting himself completely to the word, solemnly testifying to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. In other words, with Timothy and Silas around, Paul is able to put aside the details of life and concentrate totally upon the word and his teaching. Timothy accompanied Paul. Paul had no other so like-minded a companion. Listen to 2 Timothy 3.14 You continue in the things you have learned and knowing from whom you have learned them. Also, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 suffer hardship with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Now, let's look briefly at Timothy's resume as Paul's companion as well as his experience as a pastor. First, Timothy accompanied Paul to Philippi, where he remained as their first pastor teacher. He was later replaced by Epaphroditus. Acts 16.12 bears this out. And from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia, a Roman colony, and we were staying in this city for some days. The previous verse compared with Philippians 2.22. In Philippians 2.22, as we just read, Paul is recommending Timothy to... Timothy served also as the pastor to the Berean believers... This is documented in Acts 17.14, which reads as, But when the Jews of Thessalonica found out that the word of God had been proclaimed by Paul in Berea also, they came there as well, agitating and stirring up the crowds. Then immediately the brethren sent Paul out to go as far as the sea, and Silas and T Timothy also served as the pastor to the Thessalonians. This is documented in... 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 2 And we sent Timothy our brother and God's fellow worker in the gospel of Christ to strengthen and encourage you Timothy also pastored the